Maine State Legislature Charge LD 1806 proposes a supplemental enrollment charge for drivers of battery electric and mixture vehicles. In the event that the bill passes, Maine will join no less than 11 different states in exacting an extra charge on drivers attempting to spare cash at the pump. The distinction for Maine's situation is that the New England state's electric vehicle impos would turn into the most costly in the country, at $250, surpassing the $200 supplemental expense charged by Georgia and Michigan. The Maine bill's proposed expense for half and halves is $150. Maine's representative and Department of Transportation a defended bolster for the bill for an indistinguishable reason from in different states, with framework repair stores fixing to income from gas charges, fuel sippers and fuel avoiders don't pay what's coming to them of street utilize. Indeed, even Super Green California has yielded to need, wanting to charge FEV drivers $100 beginning in 2020. Maine's Parkway Support Subsidize has obtained about $100 million every year for as long as two years to restrain its shortage, yet still runs $60 million every year into the red. On the off chance that Maine's 19,450 crossbreed and F proprietors, who speak to under 3% of the state's traveler vehicles, pay the proposed expenses, they'll shrivel the overdraft by around $2.9 million every year. The senator and a state agent have glided no less than two different thoughts for creating more framework income, yet both are given minimal possibility of section. The senator has made it clear he won't face raising the state's gas charge, which expanded to 30 pennies for every gallon in 2011. As one may expect, half and half and F drivers and main ecological gatherings are joined contrary to LD1806. Drivers' trust enactment intentionally targets them for securing the earth and their wallets without truly tending to the state's incessantly underfunded three-way finance. The National Resources Council of Maine and the Maine Audubon Society both affirmed against the bill, saying it sends a negative message about U.S. vitality needs, and now and again would see half and half and F drivers contribute more in street charges than drivers of ICE autos. Said a Maine DOT official, we figure drivers ought to pay a type of expense. We should discuss what some would be suitable.